So what happened last night, Lizette? Did you have a tamale party? Did you go to a tamale party? I know yesterday was a big tamale party day. <laughs> so, yeah, we didn't make tamales, but we did cook. Um, on January 6th, you remember, January 6th, every year, it's supposed to be the day that, like, the three kings visited baby Jesus. So, like, you know, in my my family, and our culture, we go to a little, like, marqueta, a little store, and we buy a rosca, which is, like, uh, a bread. It's, a, like, a circular bread. It's got, like, candied stuff on top. And then inside the, bre- the bread, they baked little plastic baby dolls, mm-hmm. which is supposed to represent baby Jesus. So... Like, everyone gets together, you eat the bread, whoever gets the baby dolls has to host a dinner on February 2nd. When so we... you don't want the baby Jesus, Oh, or no, you do. nobody wants the baby Jesus. Wow, don't say it like that, Lizette. Jeez, <laughs> nobody wants on. the doll because nobody wants to wants to host a dinner with everybody. Okay, when you had your bread, then who got the baby Jesus? Who had to cook? So, I don't know how many baby Jesuses were in our rosca, but my son Jelani was the one who got <sighs> the little doll. So... We jokingly were like, oh, now you have to cook February 2nd. He's yeah. like, what? Why? And we're like, you just got to. Like, <laughs> it's the rule. It's the rule. You you have to cook. You have to host dinner. And he was like, he took it so seriously. He was like, oh, man, all right, well, what am I going to make? What Like, what do I do? And oh, I'm like, I, I don't it. know. You got to figure it out. <laughs> I love it. So he pulls out his handy dandy cookbook from Uncle Strawberry. That's right. And yesterday he comes into my room. He was like, mom, you got to take me to the store. I'm like, why? Because I totally forgot. Like, uh-huh. you know, I didn't think he was actually going to take it seriously and do it. He goes, you got to take me to the store. It's February 2nd. I was like, okay. Like, <laughs> why? He's like, I have to cook dinner. I was like, oh, snap. The baby Jesus party. You do have to cook dinner. So I took him to the store. He brought his own cash. He brought like $100. Where is his... a 10-year-old getting $100? He got it for Christmas. <laughs> Um, but he brought his own cash to the store. He was like, I don't know how much it's all going to be, but here's my list of ingredients of things I need. I know what I'm going to make. Let's go to the store. So I took him to the store. He bought everything. We get home. So this is what we had for dinner last night. I'm already impressed. Normally you do like, I, I guess you're supposed to make tamales, but like nobody wants to do all that. Okay. So he got a frozen pizza. Okay. He made chicken nuggets, like bought chicken breasts, breadcrumbs, seasoning, everything. Made chicken nuggets. Nice. And then made these like toasted like bread appetizer things. We like toast. Crostini? Yeah, kind of. I there think that's is. what it's called. Yeah. Okay. Um, And then he bought the ingredients for that. Pesto, tomatoes. What? Tuna, celery, chives, like everything. He went all out. And then he fixed up the table, put all the food on the table, set it up with plates and napkins. And he was like, all right, guys, it's time for dinner. I'm like, dang, like. He crushed you do better it. than me. <laughs> he crushed it. He's only 10 years old. 10 years old. And I posted, it was really cute. I posted a picture on Instagram, like in my story. And everyone uh-huh. was like, oh my God, he made all of that? That's impressive. That's my baby. So every year now, you got to sneak the baby Jesus into his side of the bread just to make sure. <laughs> I'm going to put, I'm going to ha- just have them in bags, <laughs> yeah, just stick them right. in his slice. Exactly. Damn. There you go, Jelani. <laughs> yeah, so cute. And he's only 10 years old. 10 years old. Impressive. Loves to cook.